School threats, lockdowns, and beefed up security all too common lately at local schools. And today, police dogs search schools in Clarendon in what's being called a soft lockdown. It comes after the arrest of two teenagers with guns last week. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan is live in Clareton with new information on that incident. Andy. Well, Christine, it appears this incident was far more serious than first reported and could have been tragic if not for the quick response of police. Police canine officers conducted a search of bathrooms, lockers, and classrooms at the Clareton Education Center today. And after students arrived, the buildings were placed on a so-called soft lockdown, where no one could enter or leave. The students returned today after the district canceled in-class instruction on Thursday and Friday, following a potentially lethal incident here on Wednesday. Three young men reportedly standing outside the building with guns drawn. According to police sources, an investigation has determined the three were waiting to confront a female student over an ongoing dispute. Sources say the female student's mother saw them and called 911, and the youth fled when Clareton police arrived. This was the scene on Wednesday when police blocked the streets and searched the area, retrieving two handguns and subsequently arresting two of the suspects, a 17-year-old and a 14-year-old, both from Clareton. Sources say the two can be identified on surveillance tape with their respective weapons. According to police sources, both young men are students but have previous criminal charges pending and are not permitted on school grounds. Police confirm they have been charged with firearms violations and terroristic threats related to the incident on Wednesday. Juvenile court records are confidential, but sources say they are now on electronic monitoring and home detention pending a preliminary hearing. Now, the Clareton police chief did not return phone calls today, but Superintendent Ginny Hunt tells me that this search was scheduled last week and there are no new threats. She said the search did not uncover any weapons. Reporting live in Clareton, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.